Do you get shoulder pain after sleeping? If you get shoulder pain after sleeping, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to explain what causes shoulder pain after sleeping, what you can do at night to keep your shoulder from hurting when you wake up in the morning, and what you can do during the daytime to help ensure that you'll get a better night's sleep at nighttime. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Now, first of all, what causes shoulder pain after sleeping? Largely, the immediate cause of shoulder pain after sleeping is the position that you sleep in at night. Your shoulder is kind of a ball and socket joint. The shoulder has a ball on it and it sits inside a socket, kind of like a golf ball sitting on golf tee. And when you're laying directly on your side at night, it can compress the ball into the socket and cause the shoulder to get jammed into the socket. Now that can create some compression in the joint. It can also cause the golf ball, so to speak, to pinch on the rim of the golf tee, where you can jam the rotator cuff tendons, which run into the front of your shoulder. It kind of jams the tendons between the ball and the socket and can cause them to get irritated. So there are a couple positioning tips that you can use at nighttime that I'll show you right now that will help you prevent your shoulder from hurting when you wake up in the morning. Now, if you sleep on the sore side, it's probably best to try not to do that, but sometimes you're just more comfortable on one side than the other, or sometimes you roll over on that side at nighttime and you, know, you can't really control what you do. But if you can try as best as possible when you're sleeping on that side to lay more on your shoulder blade rather than on the side of the shoulder itself, it'll prevent the ball from getting jammed into the socket. So to do that, if you're laying on your side and this is your sh sore shoulder, you lay on your side and instead of laying directly on your side like this, you kind of roll back onto your shoulder blade, even put your arm out to the side like that. Sometimes it helps to hug a pillow with the opposite arm and that way you're bearing weight more on the shoulder blade and you're not jamming the ball of the shoulder directly into the socket. Now, let's say that this is not your sore shoulder. Let's say that this is your sore shoulder. Like I mentioned before, if you take a pillow and put it kind of up against your body and give it a little bit of a hug, this helps keep the arm in more of a neutral position. That the resting position of the shoulder is a little bit in front of the body and a little bit out to the side. That's kind of the space where the, the position where there's the most space between the ball and the socket. So if you can keep your shoulder kind of in this semi raised to the front, semi raised out to the side position um, by supporting it with a pillow underneath your arm. That'll help you keep the shoulder in a position where there's the least compression on the joint. The rotator cuff tendons that attach into the front of the shoulder aren't being overstretched. They're not being pinched between the ball and the socket. And it'll help you sleep more comfortably at night. Now, the other thing to keep in mind that if you have shoulder pain when you wake up in the morning, and it's not pain like directly on the front of the shoulder, if it's more of kind of a diffuse, achy shoulder pain or pain into the upper arm, there's a possibility that that pain could be coming from your neck. Um, now, if the pain is coming from your neck, I'd still recommend putting your shoulders in the position that rec I recommended before, but you really wanna make sure that your pillow is high enough to take up the space between the outside of your shoulder and your neck so that it supports you fully and your neck's not falling down to one side too much, and it's also not being pushed over to the other side too much. That way, the nerves that come out of the neck that run into the shoulder and the arm, they aren't being pinched. Now, the things that you do during the day also makes a big difference. That if you tend to sit with your arms rounded, like working at a desk, or if you spend a lot of time on your phone texting during the day, that rounded shoulder position will put the shoulder blade in position where the socket is pinching more on the ball. And you don't want that. So the more you can kind of open up your chest and shoulders during the day, the less likely it is to hurt you at nighttime. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to sit with an exaggerated, overly upright posture, because as I've mentioned in some of my prior videos about back pain, people who sit way too upright and try to extend way too much can get upper back pain or lower back pain because your spine really should have just a little bit of a forward slouch. So it's finding that happy medium position that is not too rounded like this and is not too upright like that. 
Now, another thing that you want to make sure is, again, that the pain is not coming from your neck, that it actually is coming from the shoulder joints. And to do that, it is a good idea to have someone to check it out and help find out where the true source of the pain is, if it's coming from the neck, if it's coming from the shoulder, or if it's coming from a combination of both of those. Now, if you need some help to figure that out, we'd be happy to help. Just feel free to reach out and we'll get you in for an evaluation or do a virtual consult and give you a better idea whether the pain is coming directly from your shoulder or whether it's coming from your neck. Now, if you found this video helpful, give a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks and have a great day.